This TF47 video is brought to you by Stamp Playrail Store. SPS has Playrail merch in the mintest condition, special custom runs, and even packs based on your favorite stories. Check them out in the link below, and make sure to use code THOMASANDFRIEND47 to save 10% on your first order. As always, thank you to our sponsor. Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the Take and Play Push and Puff Percy from 2015. Now here on the sides, you'll see the uh, great details here. You have the great coal bunker detail, the cab window detail, of course the boiler bands. It looks awesome. But there's a great function to this. When you press down the cab roof, you can see steam come out, both from the funnel and, of course, from the side of the engine. Makes it look like Percy is weeshing there, of course, puffing steam. It's just so cool. Here on the front, we have the great buffer detail, the great face detail there. It looks just like CGI series Percy. And you can see, too, when we hit the button, how the steam comes out there from the sides. Very neat. Alright, and here's the side of, uh, other side of the engine. And you can see it's basically the same, but that's okay. Alright, and then here's a look at the back of the engine. Boiler band, or not boiler bands, but buffer details, coal bunker detail, of course, coal load there. Now on the top, you'll see there's this little slot there. They have to do that so that the steam can come out from the top. Um, but I don't mind it. It's not too bad. And then here we can see that when you press the button, the steam comes from the top there. That's just a view of it from the top. And then here's a look at the bottom of the engine. You can see there it has its name, of course, the copyright information. All right, so all in all, what do I think of this model? Well, I'm going to tell you I adore this model, as I do all of the Take and Play, Push and Play, or Push and Puff uh, engines. They just look spectacular. Not only do they have great details, um, but just the functionality of them is, is really neat, too. So why didn't I get this when it came out in 2015? Well, like I said in my Thomas video, I don't remember... I remember vaguely seeing it, I think, but I can't really remember. And it just wasn't something that interested me then. I think it was the round magnets, because I wasn't very happy that they switched to those, as most of the fandom wasn't. You know, it just felt very unnecessary. And Take and Play was great because you had the magnets that you could switch back and forth, so you didn't have to have them all going, like, one way on the track. You could couple them up together, front to back, back to for uh, front. You could have them both facing forward, you could have them both facing backward. You could put the trucks in any arrangement that you wanted. It was a lot of versatility that was taken away when they did the Adventures rebrand to the Round Magnets. Um, also, some members of the fandom, and myself included, didn't like it because it made it look more like Wooden Railway. And don't get me wrong, I love Wooden Railway, but it just didn't really fit with the detail-oriented of the Take and Play engines. Anyway, um, that's one reason I think that I didn't get this model, but I can't remember. But seeing it on eBay, I was like, I have to get this model. It's just so cool. And the functionality of it is really, really neat. I love that action feature. Just seeing the steam come up from the model, it's so surreal because usually, like... You know, I'll add that in with editing, like on my thumbnails, I'll put steam puffing out of the funnel just to make it look more realistic, more cool. But to seeing it in person is a really neat effect that you don't always get. And I, I loved it. I love it so much. Um, is it great for, you know, detailed layouts? Not really. It's more of a gimmicky thing. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun uh, playing around with this model uh, in between the, the review. <laughs> but anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.